welcome to the first of four new cruise vlogs. We are going on a two week trip around the Mediterranean on Pino Cruises brand new ship Avia. We are so excited. This is actually my fifth cruise and we love cruising so much that my fiance Benji and I are actually getting married on board next year on Arcadia. So if you're new, hi, I'm Brogan and we make travel home and lifestyle vlogs. So make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss all the cruise vlogs from this trip and our future cruise. It's going to be so fun going from Southampton today. We're going to a few destinations in France, Spain and Italy. But in this first vlog, we're going to take you on a sea day and our first location. Keep watching to see where we go and what we do. But for now, we just want to say a big thank you to P&O Cruises for partnering with us again on this vlog series. We absolutely love them and we're going to have them linked below. Last year, we sailed on Iona to Norway. Avia is the sister ship to Iona. I've been on board twice this year, just for the day. So I know how gorgeous she is and how much we are going to love her. So two weeks, let's go because it's going to be so good. We have just arrived at Ocean Terminal. It officially feels real now. Does it? Yeah, it feels real. That feeling when you're coming in and you can see Avia and the beauty and the size of her. The sun's just come out for us. She's a big old gal, isn't she? Yeah, gorgeous. I'm so excited. Cruising is just like our big love, isn't it? We just love it so much. Coming from Southampton is so easy. We're just literally going to walk across there. So we actually had family drop us off, but you can park here too. We're going to take our cases just over there and they're gonna drop them and take them and then deliver them to our room. Then we just got our rucksacks and handbags in, haven't we? Let's do it! <laughs> so we're on deck 15, 101. It clearly says which number, and we're obviously 15, so they literally just put it on the conveyor belt and on it goes. You can actually take as much luggage as you need or want, but each case can't weigh more than 23 kilograms. We had three suitcases today for a two week trip. We took it as a personal challenge. <laughs> we packed the kitchen sink. In fact, I made a packing video if you wanna go and see everything that I personally packed. We're gonna be sharing lots of cruise hacks and tips on the way and sharing everything that Arvid has to offer. First, embarking, let's go and show you what it's like because you don't need to put all your toiletries in clear things and stuff like that. You do go through security, they will check your bags, but you don't need to do things like you would in an airport it's so easy this big queue here is people that are early but we've arrived bang on time so we get to go straight through so there's no point in arriving early just come for your designated time slot it's very smooth isn't it it's yeah. very efficient time to check in all the faff of having to do loads of travel or a big travel day is just taken away we probably got out of the car what four five minutes ago less than that yeah so good crazy <laughs> I think the plan will be we'll go to our master station, we'll go to our room and dump the stuff, then we'll go and get food, and then we'll come back and show you the room. Yeah. There's people already in their balconies We're with a cocktail. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> All the way down. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good day. You're on Master Station A. Okay. This is the theatre on the far left hand side. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Right, we're going to our Master Station, which is right here. So, as we were just in the spa, we just popped in and booked ourselves in for the hydrotherapy pool, which is their like spa area, which we loved on Iona. So, we've booked in for four diff different days. We've done like a bit of a package. It's always worth coming down to the spa on embarkation day seeing what offers they have and then part of that little package is that I also got a massage booked in so it was 199 I think and we ended up getting a few passes and a massage one of our cases is already here how impressive is that oh wow our cabin is so so lovely everything is so chic and so beautifully designed and it's actually a little bit different to Iona it uses the space perfectly before we show you around the cabin we're both starving so we're going to go and eat because that's the important thing isn't it let's yeah. eat let's go eat and then we'll show you Oh, another case. Only one more to go now. There are so many restaurants on board and we're gonna be covering pretty much all of them. But the first one we're going to is called The Keys, which we discovered on Iona. It's also on Arvia, but they have a slightly different setup. All right, welcome to The Keys. So this is made up of three stations here. There is the fish and chips, fusion, which is the sort of Asian food and roast the carvery, which I'm 100% going here but you can just go up to any of these windows and it's sort of like a quick service style and you grab a tray and it's nice and quick and easy. What are you gonna have? Mushroom and chuck brew. All right, here is roast. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have a Yorkshire pudding wrap, I think. 
I have got some potatoes and, and veg and my little Yorkshire pudding wrap. And the seating around here is so lovely. I've actually booked us dinner for half past five. So you can pre-book some of your meals before you get on board. So I pre-booked about six or seven and then some of them you book on board. A lot of them are already included, so things like your main Freedom Dining restaurant, the Sixth Street Diner, but some of them have a small fee, an additional charge. So some restaurants you just pay a fixed price, like the Beach House, I think it was £7.50 or £10, something like that. We'll talk to you about it when we get there. And then some of them you pay according to what you buy on the menu, like what you order. Does that make sense? Like if you were going to a proper restaurant. Um, so we'll show you all the different ones we go to as we go along. I love how quick and easy it is so good so quick little bite to eat because like i said we've got dinner tonight so fish and chips for benj little yorkshire pudding roast wrap here look at that I'm, love it i'm quite happy just eat here every day i know <laughs> so the keys also has a selection of salads and also puddings i think i'm gonna go for the apple tart or apple cake and i think brogan will want the lemon panna cotta <laughs> So as we walk back to the cabin, I just wanted to show you the atrium because it's so gorgeous and there's loads of people starting their holidays, enjoying all the areas to lounge in. Highly, highly recommend the Keys. Loved it there. Obviously you've got the buffet as well for those quick meals and around the pool at the Sky Dome, there's loads of different things there like pizzas and burgers and hot dogs and stuff. But we're gonna go back to the room and show you our cabin. We just met Raquel, our lovely cabin host. She showed us where the life jacket were and we also watched the safety video as well now she's just left this is what the tv looks like so obviously the safety video is still playing but you can look at the webcam you can look at what's on navigation and weather and you can even look at your account see how much you've spent which is so great i feel like this is new isn't it i don't know very cool though. Very look we can use. see what's on at the cinema this they is so great top gun oh wow look they got top gun maverick on at the cinema look. that's so good the cruise highlights all right, let's have a look at this. Oh, wow, oh, look at that. Cool. It's like a digital Horizons magazine. That is it? so good. Let's give you a room tour. So on the side, we have hooks, which are very handy. So the right is the bathroom. We'll come back to that. This is the wardrobe space. So we've got a nice full length mirror, plenty of hanging space on the left hand side, which is great. Life jackets at the top. And then on this side, we have a safe and some shelving all the way to the floor and more hanging on that right hand side. And then this is the bed and the lounge area. I absolutely love it. It's actually very long. It feels like there's loads of room. Nothing feels too cramped at all. Lovely decor. And I like the little shelving by the bed. I've got a plug on my side of the bed down here which is very handy. I just really love it. Like it's just so sleek and modern and nice and the bed is so comfortable as well. I always sleep so well on a piano cruise. And coming round, this is a movable table which is very helpful. So you can tuck it underneath the sofa. You know, you can use it for drinks. I believe this could be a sofa bed and it pulls out but obviously we're not gonna need that. And I like having a sofa, nice chill area. Benji will play on his laptop and I can read my book and and then the TV is just opposite. And then there's some storage space under here, which we do use as well. It's quite thin, but it's really helpful. So we'll put the first aid kit and all our games and laptops and stuff, they can be stored away. To the side here, we have some coffee things. In this little drawer, they've got all the like coffee bits. And then we have been very kindly given some champagne and some gifts from the team at PO Cruises. We have a few little extras on the desk here, but we also have our Shore Experience tickets, our Horizon horizon book which i'll talk to you more about later on this has got everything we need to know what's going on today and we get one of those each day more shelving space on the side plugs which is great and i'll just move all this and put all my own bits there <laughs> can make myself very much at home and here there is more storage there's a fridge which we've popped our coke in and there's a bottle of prosecco no champagne for us for the bathroom this is what this looks like let's turn the light on there we go look at that love it so it's very similar to iona in terms of shelving and loads of space for a cruise ship bathroom i'm always so impressed with how much space there is i do my makeup here these little details you don't really get stuff like this even in hotel rooms like it's so thought out nice hand wash which is the white company and in the shower they okay. also have white company products i heard it's my time it's your time to shine. He's six foot three and he fits in. There are loads of hand towel rails as well. And then more shelves and more 
hang space there so it's really great i don't bother bringing my own shower gel because i know how lovely this one is they have shampoo and all the little bits you know like having your products on the little baskets it's brilliant absolutely love it and then this is the view from the end of the room as well. Yeah, it's really spacious, really nice. I just absolutely love Piano Cruises cabins. Like so comfortable and so well organized and designed. And the lighting's lovely, like all the little details. So yay, now let me show you the balcony. All right, let's go on out to the balcony. The door is quite heavy. Hello? Not every cabin comes with me. <laughs> Only if you pay the top, top dollar. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that's fair enough. So this is very different to what we've had before. There's sort of a, a glass bit here, isn't there? I assume it's a, you can have the door open without the wind. There's basically a glass. So there's obviously a reason for that there. But also, normally we have glass, don't we? We normally see out. We can see the front of the ship. And it says, oh, you're on the front down there. That's our view. I'm assuming these are cameras here for the captain. And obviously we have a beautiful view of Southampton so let's ignore that. Shall we open the champagne and cheers? I'm so excited for this next trip with you. Me too. We love our cruises, don't we? Yeah, I feel like we're, we're good at them as well. Now. We're good at cruising. We're good at cruising. <laughs> cheers, cheers. my back. Cheers to Arvia and the Mediterranean. We're on board. We can see everything going on down there. All the luggage is still being loaded up. I can't wait to start feeling that steady sway. See, people were saying to me, like, how can you feel the ship moving? And I think this will be interesting because we barely felt Iona. We haven't done the Mediterranean together. I did Greece and, and... The Bay of Biscay is like one of the choppiest passage of waters in the world, so... We'll show you how swayy it is, but we quite like it. You get your sea legs and you really... I sleep like a baby. If I can't wait. If it's choppy, we'll say, but we've honestly never had anything Thing, uh, rather than oh that's nice isn't it literally just a the only one was my very first cruise and the ship was a lot smaller i could feel yeah. it then we'll show you we'll talk about it we'll give you all our tips we've gone on to the app and looked at all the bookings we've got and we're just planning out a week and it's just gonna be amazing it's gonna be amazing so we're so gonna chill like, what are we planning out planning out our trip you said our week we have got a week we've got two weeks we've got, oh, that's true we have two weeks we've only ever done a week before haven't we no i know it's the longest cruise we've ever done i'm so excited i love being on board it makes me so happy i'm so grateful thank you southampton but we're finished with we're me. done now can we see the med now please let's go bye bye <laughs> i have just got changed just so i feel a little bit fresher into this nice next dress i've had forever and we are going to the Zenith restaurant, which is one of their main freedom dining restaurants. Thought we'd start with this to show you what's included, what it's like, and it's just a really nice way to start our holiday. So I actually pre-booked this, so you can pre-book some of the meals for some of the earlier slots. We're setting sail at six o'clock and our dinner is at half past five, so we will be leaving as we're eating. And then this evening we're going to explore all the entertainment and what's on and get our bingo cards. As I mentioned, the Horizon newsletter, newspaper thing comes around each day. It tells you the dress code and a bit of a welcome and some information. It's actually really great. And Benji, while I was working and doing a reel, has put our favorite things that we sort of want to look at to this evening. So he's highlighted them. Them, which is such a great hack and we take a photo of this so we don't have to carry it around all night we are in this is the main dining restaurant or one of them you can have a starter main and dessert all included there's loads of things that i would actually have on here there's also a chef recommendation so here are the three options for that and they have some wine as well my starter is here so i've got the chicken croquette with an onion ring you have got tomato, tomato soup, soup. It smells amazing so good it smells really like homemade and Happy my fresh. Then G has got the chicken. Do you want to just move it a little bit so we can see you've got some potato. Oh, is that sweet potato? And then some veg under that. Wow, that looks amazing. And then I went for the sea bass and potatoes and some veg. Just wanted to show you that we are finally sailing away and it's so sunny and lovely. I don't think you can fully appreciate this, but what an amazing atmosphere for our dessert we both have gone for sticky toffee pudding but we've also got a little bit of ice cream on the side because we can you want a bit of ice cream you know? sometimes you just need a little bit of ice cream you just need a bit of ice cream and it's included and i've got rum and raisin which is my absolute favorite it always feels really strange to leave a restaurant and not pay <laughs> but that was really nice oh they have the menu outside the restaurant so you can see yeah that was really lovely always get really good service and it was all really nice quality and just really tasty meal. Can't complain. 
So now we're just gonna pop back to the room. We don't normally start the first vlog showing you something as simple as the laundrette, this is but... This the next entertainment <laughs> We just thought we'd show you because we are on for two weeks and we don't normally do an awful lot of ironing and washing, but they've got some really great facilities. These are, ooh. These are new. So we'll fit that in our bag, take it home. <laughs> We've just had this come through the door with our horizon and it's a little guide to dining and drinks. You need to screenshot this now because this is such an easy, great guide. So you can see that these are the restaurants that are included in your holiday. There's loads. Then this is for a little extra restaurant wise. And then these are the bars. Also, this is our captain, Paul Brown. This is what he looks like. If we see him, we'll say hello. We're going to go and see Vocal Extreme in the Sky Dome. They're on at 7.39 and 10 30. There are people in the hot tubs enjoying their holiday already. So we've got our seat ready for the show and what's really really cool is that this sky dome is retractable so the whole thing obviously comes back and opens up. You can enjoy the sunshine. How cool is that? And then in the day or evening or like now they can have artists on the stage. This is Elton Rock through the ages from the 80s and all sorts. Please welcome <laughs> we listened to the live music for about half an hour and it was so good and now we've come down to the atrium and we're on deck seven to do a little bit of shopping thought we'd have a little look around these are some of the nicest shops i've seen on a cruise ship look at this i love it Oh my gosh, it's a bit of me, isn't it? Next shops are the men's areas. Ooh, this is a bit nice. It's all laid out like a department store, isn't it? Like yeah. this kind of stuff. Yeah, it's really yeah. nice. Oh, they even have a little barber's area there. Stunning. Oh, Elemis are over there. I love them. This, by the way, is so good. The muscle soak. They have designer handbags. They even have a pre-loved section. Look at this. This is so great. The beauty ones are not open, so I can't show you those right now, but we are just going to go down to the watches area. We are just having a look at some of the watches because they have loads of lovely brands on board we were just looking at brightling and it's just such a gorgeous space like look at the carpet and the decor displays i don't know i just really appreciate the thought that's gone into this it's lovely oh they got a whole tech store hi that's really nice I want to touch it, but I don't want to touch it. That's really cool. I love these, all these yeah, we've seen them before. Got all the leads and things if you uh, forget anything. All right, we've got the alcohol now. There's so much. And such good prices, too, because it's duty free. It's so yeah. nice. Oh. Ooh. That's such a bargain. And they have uh, the tidal rum. These ones are available on board as well. We're just walking through the theatre, the cinemas, and we don't want to walk in any of the screens. But if, if you ever can't find me for a couple of hours, I'm watching Top Gun again. Maverick, yeah. Again, again. Well, if you know me even a little bit, you know that I collect pins. We've got a cute little turtle, which I had to have a little ship and then the logo this really wants so. to be the want, doesn't it? i know it's so annoying oh and this, we got the christmas deck too this is a game changer isn't it we now we need to go back on all the ships we've done before does it actually say rv yeah, the front. oh yeah it does it does say so RV on it. and does it say rv on the christmas deck oh yeah it yeah. does we have the um i only want of this as we well have, i think we've got britannia as well it's nine o'clock we've had a brilliant first day embarking i feel like we've done a lot i really enjoyed that was it vo vocals yeah, they were good in the Sky Dome. Oh, the acoustics in there were really nice. I really enjoyed them. They did some good. really good vibes. Didn't good they? vibes, yeah. We had a drink in there. We've got a sea day tomorrow as we make our way to La Coruña at the top of Spain. See you in the morning. Good morning. It's our first sea day. I slept so well. It's actually 8.30, but the clocks have gone forward, so it's half nine. And we are going to be doing a few things today. So it's a little breezy, so we're not doing any sunbathing. We may go to the swim out bar later. We'll see how we feel. The beauty of a sea day is we sort of just bob around the ship and just decide as and when what we want to be doing. But the three things we're definitely doing, Mission Control, the escape game that is exclusively for Avia. So we're doing that at half 10. Then at 4 
4pm we have the bingo which if you've watched our cruise vlogs before you know we love the bingo and at 6.30 I've booked us in to Green & Co featuring Miss Ioana which is again exclusive on Arvia so we've got a few things to show you that you can only do here in between we'll just see how we feel but yeah the room is so lovely like first day and night in it loads of space obviously this is a deluxe balcony cabin so a bit more space a bit more storage areas and it's just been lovely isn't it? we sleep so well on board oh uh, I can't explain to you like we were struggling with sleep before we came out and I slept fully through the night and wake up yeah. once I woke up and I was like oh it must be early I'll go and watch the sunrise and then I looked at my phone and it was eight o'clock I was like oh okay <laughs> that's how well you sleep so I don't know if it's the gentle bob or what but I can't feel any movement right now and the sea is so flat and beautiful let me try and show you this is our view we're off the coast of France somewhere and it's just so peaceful it may be a bit eerie for some people but for me I find it really calming and I love that we're just going out onto the big ocean and going places it's so it's so exciting to me right we are going to the buffet for breakfast this is the horizon restaurant and it is so buzzy this morning everyone's having their breakfast let me show you i have shown the buffets before but um you know it's got all your usual things all your pastries uh what are we gonna have is the question I've got a bowl of cereal, some mini pancakes and some melon and Benji's got a full English. We were intending on going to the main restaurant for breakfast but we missed it by like 10 minutes didn't we? First rookie error of the trip. First rookie error, don't make our mistake because the clocks went forward. We knew they went forward. We knew they changed. Well we, we knew the day. we thought we were going to wake up an hour early but yeah. It doesn't matter, we missed the time slot, so that's why I went to the buffet, but it was still very lovely. Good. Enjoy yeah, mine was great actually. It's all I needed. Sometimes that's all you need is a light, easy breakfast, but we will show you the main restaurant. Um, but now we're walking over to Mission Control. It's exciting. Right. Yeah, really exciting. This is pretty niche as well, but I just wanted to show you the lovely bathrooms on board. They have automatic doors and they're just really beautifully designed and super clean and nice. We're just waiting to go into Mission Control. We're right by the lifts, but this is an escape game. So they have like 3D elements. There is sort of like an underwater story. And we've seen little bits of it when we came on board for the day, but we haven't actually done it yet. So we're gonna go in and show you some of it, not all of it, because you know, we should come and enjoy it. But it's 20 pound per person per adult and I think it was how much was it for children? Ten, I think. Ten. Ten for children. We are going on in. So this is not an escape room just for clarity. It's an escape game. Immersive experience. So we're gonna learn the story, watch these screens. I'm excited. It's like a little submarine in there too. It's really cool. The details and the tech. It looks really nice. I like this. I welcome you to be and Research Institute. On board the good ship, are the right hands person. Your control operates the diving rudder and the ballast tanks. This one's special. It says in your file <laughs> that you're a real magic mission. Oh, that's me too. I've got three rolls. Are you joking? <laughs> are we ready to go? Yeah! It was really, really, really clever. Really well done. The storyline, the tasks that everyone it, had to do. It didn't feel like we were in, I know it's not, I'm going to call it an escape room. It didn't feel like you were in that environment, did it? It, it felt, like it felt really fun. I thought yeah. I was really like waiting around, but it was really good. Yeah, it was. It was very clever, very well put together. Everyone got equal amount of responsibilities mm. and things. There were only six of us out of the ten roles, so each person gets a different role. And so some of us had to. I actually had three jobs, so it was very fun. It was really good. And then Benji and I both did the second room where there's a VR headset. So if they ask you if you want to go into the little escape pod, then yeah. you need to make sure you do that because really it was good. really cool having the VR. We 
even film that, but we had the VR headset on. I didn't on. know that was going to happen it was at all. Really it was really good. Really nice. It's surprise. actually our first time that we both done VR. Mm, yeah, I've, I've never, never even done like worn a headset one like that. It was really cool. So yeah, really enjoyed it. Well worth twenty quid each. Yeah, it definitely. Was really good. I'd actually do it again. Like really good because she could have a different role. Yeah. It's twelve o'clock. That was actually an hour and a half. That's how long it was. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, it was really good. It yeah. wasn't like a quick twenty-minute thing. It was like mm. a real storyline and stuff. <laughs> We need to go and get some lunch. We're going to have a wonder and we'll decide what we're going to do. Mm. So we decided to come for lunch at 6th Street Diner, which is an all-American diner exclusively on Avia, and it's included in the price of your holiday. So they serve brunch and breakfast from 10 till 2, so they have an all-day breakfast, they have waffles and pancakes, and then they have loads of American things like tater tots and wings and wedges and all sorts, so that's really nice. Then they also have dinner here, which we're going to do later on in a few vlogs' time, so we thought we'd show you what lunch is like, or brunch, and then they do cocktails cocktails and milkshakes and they have a jukebox too and they do a cocktail where you can get a pin included but I already own the pins. We are also coming here for dinner so if you want to see what it's like for dinner as well make sure you subscribe don't miss our other vlogs where we'll be showing lots of the different meals but we thought we'd show you this one too as it is included and we have a reservation in a few minutes so let's go inside. Here we go so this is the menu so I think I'm gonna go for the tots and poppers so like tater tots, the fried chicken and waffles and and definitely a banana split. <laughs> I feel like I'm having exactly the same. Maybe I might have the wings instead of the start. Ooh, I'm gonna try the wings. I do. <laughs> we just finished our lunch at Six Foods Diner. It was really nice. Yeah, it was nice. We had the apple pie. Ooh. So good. Really good. Get the apple pie. You were jealous, I you? had the banana split and I was jealous, yeah. But we're just walking back to the room and I thought I'd show you something really cool, which we showed on Iona, so we thought we'd show it here on Arvia as well. So let me show you. So this here is home to Golden Tide and Maribel Gin, and this is where they distill the gin and the rum on board which is I think the first at sea so really cool so in the um, Caribbean they do the rum and you can do rum tasting classes on, along that sort of bench bit there you make your and own make your well. own and they do the gin when we're in the med so yeah really cool and you can buy the bottles in the shop and you can have it at the bars and I just think this is a really nice touch and everyone takes pictures and they go past because it's just very very interesting if we do a cruise on Arvia in the med in the, in the Caribbean we'll definitely make our own rum but we're not gin people are we no we would prefer rum so we'll do the rum making make your own bottle in the future we have been chilling in the room been very nice just for the last hour or so and now we're gonna go and do the bingo go and do the bingo we brought our own bingo dabbers because we've been buying them on board we don't need our mission control tags anymore but they did give mm -hmm. us these so little memento instead of walking through the atrium i thought we'd walk through the promenade apparently some people have seen dolphins today Fuming. we haven't seen any oh wow look that is ah, so dolphin. what two. Yeah. <gasps> two. Oh my god <gasps> no way Benj, good sport! Oh, good sport! They said over the uh, tannoy... We've been talking about it all day, like, I can't believe we didn't see them. Oh, I can't believe oh, you just spotted two! Oh, no, bingo, we're not doing bingo now, we're standing No, we have the, to do bingo, because we've got good the, luck now. We're standing there for the next three hours now. I thought that was one there. <laughs> it's not, it's, it's a bit weak. of seaweed. Oh. So this is the clubhouse and as you can see it's pretty busy there's lots of people getting ready for bingo Benj and I have got one book each so there's a few games I think there's five and then we have an extra sheet at the end I think the cash prize is up to five grand but it depends how many people enter but it's not really about that necessarily we have one on board before I think we won 30 quid once but it's more just the buzz and the environment of it. it's just really fun no yeah it's good yeah yeah just in case any of you are as serious about bingo as we are 
are, it's actually better to get your bingo cards the night before. If you check your Horizon newsletter, at the bottom it said about picking up bingo tickets. So we went last night before we went to bed and we got a bundle deal, which is why we got the little scratch card included as well. Just a few more minutes until I get the prize money. And as soon as I've got the prize money, we will go ahead and start. Eight and six, 86. Five zero to number 15. No, fabulous. In that case, congratulations Did you lose? to all of our winners. It is on every single sea day. And you can prove Every that single sea day. See you then, then. <laughs> I really love bingo. I love it. It's so really fun. We were two away on one, weren't we? I was getting close at the full house, but alas. So this is where we're going for dinner tonight, and I thought I'd show you it with no one inside, so I can really give you a good feel for the restaurant. Obviously, we'll show you in the next few clips, but um, this is what it looks like. This is Green & Co featuring Miss Joanna. They have a sushi bar up here. Fresh sushi, obviously, that they prepare right in front of you. On this side, they've got lovely decor. Look at the interiors, it's so nice. The colors and all the little details, the art. Really love it in here, so we'll be back in a minute. <laughs> A pretty dress. Thank you. This is my phase eight dress. Tommy Hilfiger little wedges. Bop. I like dressing up for cruise. Yeah, so do I. Like every night we will dress up. Like we'll dress nice. Yeah, like date night. Every night's a date night. Every night's a date night on a cruise. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this one. This is the one that your mum picked up for me, wasn't that it? That is it Zara? Zara. Yeah. I love the little patches. And my shorts are just like night golf shorts. Yeah, they're really nice. I love them. I've got your like trainers on too. Four different colours, haven't they? Yeah, it looks good. It's so comfortable. All right, we are in the restaurant. It's so lovely in here. Okay, so he's just walked us through the menu. There is quite a lot of choice actually. They've got loads of small plates and sharers, and they can make these into starters, or obviously we can share. This one is a really popular one, this Mediterranean medley, which has got loads of lovely things in it. They have large plates, and obviously, if I haven't stressed this already, this is a vegan and vegetarian restaurant in Green & Co. As well, how cool it is. I was a vegetarian for 17 years, and it's such a faff when like going to a restaurant when you don't necessarily know what's going to be there and thinking, oh, I've just got to have like the one, maybe two yeah. options. Whereas to have a whole restaurant where you can have everything on the menu and it's been specifically catered yeah. for your dietary. I think it's amazing. And then the C section, which is Ms. Yuana, this is where the fish is, so the sushi, obviously. But the really cool thing is they do actually have vegetarian sushi. So I think we are going to try some of the sushi, but they also have a great drinks menu too. Mm. And I really like the sound of this hibiscus and coconut cocktail. The lavender one sounds nice as well. But yeah, there's loads of really nice things on here. I was and thinking you're going for the sake fly. Here's our sushi. And look how beautiful this looks. We don't often have sushi that we don't pick out for us. So this is kind of a new experience for us yeah, as well. We've got the menu back so we can see what it is. Oh, great. And this, by the way, is amazing. Is it nice? That might be one of the nicest cocktails I've had on board. Like a, like a raspberry meringue pie. It's <laughs> incredible. Half of the drink is the drink, and then the top half is like a foam, and it's it's amazing. It's like a thick foam that you can sort of eat. It's so good. I cannot explain to you how incredible that sushi is. This is Benji's Wellington, which smells and looks incredible. Shakalaka Wellington, which is like South African. I can't believe that's vegetarian. It's amazing, isn't it? And here's mine. I have the Mediterranean medley. I've got loads of different things. There's definitely going to be a fiance tax on a couple of the filo. Uh, oh, my filo, filo roll. cheesy roll yeah. things. They're in danger. So good. It was really nice. Loads of lovely flavours, and it's got me very excited for tomorrow because we are going on a tapas tour. If you want to see all the other food that we eat, all the other restaurants we go to, and all the other short experiences that we do, make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss our other vlogs. But let's get on with the dessert because we all know that I'm a sweet tooth kind of gal and I love a dessert. So the dessert menu is also pretty nice, but I've gone for the chocolate earth plate, which sounded pretty good. And Benji has the coconut panna cotta. So we'll see what they're like. But if it's anything like the starter in the main, I'm sure they're going to be amazing. Oh wow, that's Benji's dessert. Look how beautiful it is. It looks like a terrarium, doesn't it? It's so cute. Wow, the layers excited. on it. It's incredible. And then look at mine. I've got the chocolate earth plate, I think it's called. I wish you could try this. That is amazing. The presentation is stunning. The flavor is so good. That was truly one of the nicest desserts I think I've ever had. Genuinely, like, unbelievable. There's the whole meal has to be one of the most surprising meals I've ever had. Yeah. I thought it was just going to be like a, I don't know, I don't know what I thought it was going to be, but it's inc absolutely incredible. I want to come again. The attention to detail, the quality, 
service, the atmosphere in the restaurant, the flavours. If, if you told me, if you told me that we could come here and just pick up sushi, like, you know what I mean? Like, we can. No, but no, I mean like you know, like a little tray of it, oh. like that. Yeah. I'd come here two or three times a day. Well, we can just come to Mizuan and sit at the sushi bar if you want. Ben's just popped to the bathroom, so while I'm waiting, I thought I'd tell you that I got the receipt, and I didn't realise that. I got 20% discount for pre-booking it. You know, I booked a few of our meals before we came online, which is, I didn't know that some of them gave me a discount. So I got a 20% discount, which was £9.50. And also I prepaid £10 per person, so £20. And that's redeemable against the food that you order. So the total cost was 40 pound and 10p we just quickly stopped by reception to write out a little compliments form for our waiter at green and co and the lovely spa manager that we met yesterday too that helped us so it's always nice to recognize people that do really great things so we do try and do that when we uh, are on board we are playing a little bit of dino dump one of our favorite card games as we wait in Brody's, as they're gonna do a quiz over there, a musical quiz. We're not fun, aren't we? You are losing. <laughs> so we've ordered some drinks and I've gone for a non alcoholic. This is one of my favourites that they have on board across the fleet from Experience. And it's called the Raspberry and Almond Bakewell. And it's cranberry juice, raspberry and almond flavour, citrus and lemonade. It's £3.75 and let me tell you, it tastes just like an almond tart or like a sweet dessert in a drink. It's just so good. Also, we have a friend on board that's with his family. So we invited all three of them to come and join us for quiz night because we need more players in our Musicals team. quiz night. Musicals. So we saw it in the horizon, we were like, that's a bit of us. So that's what we're going to do. We had such a lovely evening at Brody's chatting away to our friends as we said so there were five of us did the music quiz we got 11 out of 20 <laughs> it, was good. it was actually really nice and really then once it finished it. we just ended up having drinks and chatting it was lovely it was and, a very uh, nice evening like a lady on a guitar didn't they yeah it's just like live music in the background it's so nice because we just don't do evenings like that at home it's quite past 11 way so past that time <laughs> it's quite late for us but we'll see you again tomorrow where we're going to La Coruña and we're going on a tapas tour so excited so we'll see you in the morning Tara. <laughs> good morning from a fairly great misty La Coruña in Spain. We do have rain jackets, so it does say rain, so we did at last minute pack our North Face rain coats. Yeah, I love pulling in and seeing a new place when you wake up in the morning. It's one of my favourite things on a cruise. So we're just looking at the weather on the TV, which is another very helpful little feature. And if we go down into the other destinations, we can actually see that it, the weather's looking better in these <laughs> places. I really, really hope light rain is Spanish for really sunny skies. <laughs> Um, I don't think it is though. I don't think so. Just filling up our reusable water bottle for the day and they have loads of these little machines around the ship so you can get some water if you need it. So definitely bring your own bottle. We have got Eggs Benedict this morning. Benji always gets two and they've accidentally given me two as well. I didn't ask for two but that's okay. Breakfast was so good. I love coming in here in the dining room. We're actually right by a window too so let me show you the view. So this is what we can see in the port and we can see see the harbour, the marina area there. Yeah, it looks quite cute. I'm excited. I'm just doing my makeup quickly before we head on out and every time I'm sort of doing my hands and makeup, I could smell the hand soap, the white company. It's absolutely gorgeous. I actually might buy some for at home. It's called Flowers. Anyway, I'm so excited for today. I'm really looking forward to exploring a little bit with Benj. With the shore experiences, you can do half day, so morning or afternoon. You can do full day experiences. They start from around £40 per person and they go up to a few hundred pounds depending on the activity. They do everything from yoga, pizza making, tours, museums. Like there is so much choice and I actually really love beforehand going through on the website you can see all the different short experiences they tell you how much they are how long they take some information where you go I don't know if it's just the planner in me like I really love getting excited for a trip and like planning everything but for me I really check
genuinely liked looking through the website and seeing all the different experiences and booking them. They're really easy to book too. You just put them in your basket and check out and yeah, it's great. But you can also book short experiences on board. They have a team on board. There really is something for everyone. And of course, you don't have to do a short experience. You can literally get off at each destination and do your own thing, which is also absolutely fine. Here is our final view of La Coruña. There is a fort out there. How cool is that? What a really lovely place. Shame about the weather, but I think the rain is gonna ease off, so we're gonna still go and explore. And just like that, we are on land. Straight into a souvenir shop. We do collect pin badges. Who, who does? We do. Who does? Benjamin, you are very much in on this as chief, much as me. Chief and enabler, aren't I? You are. We have secured the goods. Mm -hmm. They have pins, the actual La Coruña one, and then we're gonna do a generic. Spanish one too. On first impressions, it is very pretty. The architecture is really nice. It's very clean and it's very quiet. So a lot of the shops and restaurants aren't open, which is okay because we're just happy exploring. There are little escalators outside. <laughs> They're so small. <laughs> we've been walking around for about an hour now. Maybe we're just over and we've come down to an area that's got a few more shops. So there's a Bershka, there's a Zara, a Mango. So we're gonna have a little browse. Oh, there's a Mango Man, actually. Beach was nice, wasn't it? Beach was nice. If it was a nicer day, we could have gone in there. I'm going in here, I don't know about you. That's a nice shirt. We're shops. Yeah. Just taking a quick break on a bench because we bought a few things so i went into a tiny little independent shop they sold jewelry and bags and i picked up this lovely little tote baby blue and the brand is biba b-i-b-a so that was 35 euros so i picked that up and benji got a green linen shirt the one that we showed from Bershka. I'm just gonna use this bag as my current handbag and then we're gonna head on over to our tapas tour because I think it's like, what time is it? Like half, half 11, half about lunch. half an hour. Wow, look at Avia in the sunshine and the infinity pool at the back there and you've got the swim up bar which we haven't been to yet but we will show you at some point. Alrighty, we've just met our group. So here is the ship and here is our tapas tour guide. So it's really easy to find. They also have Pino Cruiser short experiences teams in the turquoise t-shirts. It's very kindly given us a little headset thing so that she doesn't have to shout when she's walking through the street. So she's gonna give us a little tour as we go along as well. But like I said, this one's 59 pound per adult and 39 pound for children. It's three and a half hours, it's all walking. So there's no bus, we're just gonna be walking through from the quayside to the gardens where we were earlier and then to a local market. There's gonna be uh, three different bars. The first two venues, we're gonna have a variety of different tapas and we're gonna have some wine as well. That is the tapas tour. stop on the tapas trail and that was so really nice. nice. Really so nice. good. The meat was really strong flavours, like the chorizo was just like something we'd have at home. The empanada was really nice also. Well, yeah. Did that, did that have tuna in it, did you say? Okay. It was really good. Yeah. Yeah, it was lovely. And I really loved, loads. My wine was really nice. My wine was amazing. No, it was nice and no, cold. No, no. My, my wine, wine was really nice. My wine. <laughs> Stop. 
we are back in the square where we were earlier and look the sun has come out it's lovely blue sky now you can see the detail it's gorgeous such a beautiful building so on the tour i feel like we've been on it all day half past three so we've got about half an hour left and we're going for our final stop which is dessert Yes. So the iced coffee comes like this and you pour it over the ice. So, oh, oh gosh. Cafe con hielo. Oh no. And that is our last stop on the tour. It was so good. I really enjoyed that. It was really good. We got loads of food. We got a wine at the first two stops and then we just had coffee and a shot. <laughs> I'm really glad we did it with a tour as well because if we did it on our own, we kind of just said, oh, I recognise that name, Marvel in English. Yeah. Whereas because you explained all the names, yeah. what time of the day they'd have it, what they'd have it with. Well. Yeah. Like a, like a Spanish it wasn't just the, the food either. She showed us all the like main hot spots, like where to go. The sculptures, who, what, what the streets yeah. are named, who the streets are named after, yeah. all that stuff. No, Brogan, your name's on the shop mm -hmm. and they've got a little statue of you as well. That's what I have to deal with. <laughs> we had to come in and have a look at all the bits because who doesn't have to look in a little shop like this? So cute. <laughs> We are leaving La Coruña and we are going right past that fort that we saw earlier. Look at the weather now, oh my goodness, it's so nice. We both had showers, Benji had a nap, I was just relaxing on the bed and we watched the sail away and it's gorgeous weather out there and we're not quite hungry enough yet because of all that tapas we had today. So we don't have a dinner reservation and it's evenings like this I just love on a cruise ship because you can literally just pick and choose and decide what you want to do. There's so many things. I was considering watching a film and then we talked about maybe going to the Keys but then we decided the weather's so nice and we haven't been in the pool yet so let's go for a swim in the pool. They're just setting up for tonight's show and look the roof is open. I thought I'd show you, it's so nice. I love this Sky Dome area and they have loads of little restaurants as well around the edges. We are gonna try and see this at some point this evening. It's on three times so. Yeah, look at this, so cool. There are so many of these whirlpools. Obviously this is not in the sun. Also, although we saw dolphins yesterday, one of the couples we were talking to today said they saw whales, three whales, um, early this morning. I so we have to keep an eye out for, uh, for more creatures. Yeah. Oh, look. Oh. That's good. Because it's like sheltered from the wind, because out here it's windy. And they have loads of deck games out here as well. Loads of people are still out sunbathing, enjoying everything. And here's where the swim up pool bar is down there. The infinity pool and there's a whirlpool behind us as well and there's another infinity pool up there. I think a swim up bar is such a nice addition to Avia. Yeah. We saw this in January didn't we and I remember us saying like how lovely that would be in the sunshine and how many people are still out and it's half past six. It's so nice. All right we've come up to the second infinity pool and actually this is also where the high ropes and the splash pad and the crazy, crazy golf yeah what's it called altitude i think yeah oh, oh, nice, isn't it? is it warm yeah it's weird like the top couple of inches is cold but as soon as you get past that it's warm i love it it's really warm it's nothing, it? oh it's really nice is it because it's because the sun's been on it all day yeah oh what a view nice, oh, look at that does he land in the distance as well? Just a little bit, yeah. Wow. It is so cool. Look at this! <laughs> Look at your little leggies. <laughs> Yay! Bobbin. <laughs> this is what we call bobbin. No actual swimming, just bobbin <laughs> in a pool. This is one of our favourite things on a holiday. <laughs> We've been in two pools and now we're in a whirlpool. Oh yeah, they're playing the song, Here Comes the Sun, and it's literally just peeking around the corner. Oh. Isn't it nice? Oh. Oh. Here it's comes right. the sun. Do -de -do -de. I feel like we've got a little private ship here. Yes, nice. Yeah. <laughs> no so one's nice. even walked down the stairs since we've been no, here. No, look, it's completely quiet. Absolutely wonderful. You think, like, through the sheer numbers of, like, three to four thousand people yeah there'll be people everywhere 
but there's so many places that people congregate in that that there's so many like nice little nooks and crannies of the ship in there yeah when you find them you find your little little spots how nice is this it looks like we're sailing directly into the sunset yeah well you mean the line right on the middle of the ship see the line where the sky yeah, meets the sea it calls me there you go you're welcome Oh, there you go, and again. You're well. <laughs> didn't yeah. mean that one. And we're at Green Gang tonight. Oh yeah, we're matching. We didn't mean yeah. to. We're going to go to the Keys, I think, for dinner. Yes, and then we are actually going to go and see X, aren't we, in the Sky Dome. It's at 9 o'clock, and it's currently quarter to 8, so... We should have a pop around. Yeah, let's just mooch around. Sunset is until 10 p.m. So well, it just feels like really bright and light and lovely, so... It's so nice. And you got, I can feel the sun on my chest. Mm, it's lovely. It's nice. Yeah, let's go for let's dinner. Go and, do that food. and here's mine today. As you know, I like roast. Benji's obviously got a hook, line, and vinegar, the fish and chips. I have roast, and they also have fusion, the Asian kitchen as well. But obviously, I've got my my roast dinner in a Yorkshire pudding with some potatoes, and I think that's cauliflower cheese as well mm. on the side. So perfect. We have come for dessert at the buffet, the Horizon restaurant. I've got some rum and raisin ice cream, which is one of my favourites, in a bowl. It's so nice, but couldn't decide, so I also have some apple crumble and custard. Why not? That's what happens when you're at the buffet. You can just pick and choose, try different things. So yeah, I'm quite enjoying that we could go somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> We've come to the Sky Dome now to watch X. It looks fun and bright, doesn't it? Yeah. Loads of like, I have no idea colors. what this is like. Probably go watch a film in the cabin or something, or watch a yeah. show on our iPads or whatever. There are so many movies for free in our cabin, so we're tempted to do that. We watched a basketball documentary the night before last, didn't we? We did, yeah. Silly, but very family friendly, lots of colours, upbeat music. It's a really all round fun performance. Silly fun, wasn't it? Silly fun, yeah, yeah, really good. Everyone could enjoy it. We thought we'd take you down to Beachcomber, which is an adults only area, and also the retreat, which is a little extra, but there's like a private area down there. Isn't it nice? Yeah, it's really cool. Good morning. It is a sea day. It is Wednesday. It's a really nice day today and we have got a lovely plan in place. We are going down to the spa. We have booked two hydrotherapy passes and I have got a massage. I have been dreaming about having a massage on board again ever since the last time. I love the spa here on board. The quality, the relaxation, the different rooms, everything about it is just incredible. I can't believe it's on a cruise ship and we're really excited to try it, the one here on Avia. So we're going to go for a quick buffet breakfast just to get something light this morning. Then I have my massage and then Benji will be joining me in the spa where we've got a two hour window to be able to use all the facilities. So without further ado, let's go and have a nice spa day. Oh my goodness, look at this spa room guys. There are massive, beautiful windows with the sea. And look, wow, it's so nice. I'm very excited, lovely. Okay, so I haven't long been out of my massage and it went on for a lot longer than I thought actually. I booked 50 minutes, but I think she went a bit over because she did literally everywhere like the pressure point and the like the massage she did on my back was amazing then all the little details like she had a warm flat on my feet had a dry brush did my like actually massaged my feet and did all my arms my hands and it was just the most amazing not totally relaxing because it was deep tissue so it was really a case of helping me it was just so nice the room itself was lovely she actually shut the blinds at one point when I was on my front and then I had like a weighted eye mask on 
all the little details. She even did a full head massage. Now I'm at the hydrotherapy spa area. I'm gonna try and film some of it when there's not as many people in there. I think in future I would put my massage after I've been in the pool because you kind of wanna keep the oil on your skin for as long as possible. And I've had to just wash it off, so that's why I'm in a towel. I've just had a shower. Um, but I'm about to go and join Benji in the spa area now. Start with the showers. Oh, <laughs> Benji's in there. <laughs> Each different setting. Right. It's got different um, temperature, different, like sun's mist, sun's steam, sun's jets. It smells amazing. It smells very herbal. Well, different one. They're called different things like this is an antiquation. So this second bottom one is my favourite. Caribbean storm. Oh, yeah. And it hides. The smell is incredible. We've been in the sauna, but there were other people in there. Coming to the cold room? I think you cold room. I think if you push that handle, that's the freezers where they keep all the food. <laughs> hydrotherapy spa was so lovely it's so good i really really enjoyed that mm, me too yeah the showers were so all all your senses were mm. were touched weren't they so yeah that was nice yeah so i've just had a shower and now we're gonna go and have lunch in the main dining room yeah we've got this little sausage pastry thing the starter Let's try the sauce it's like a Tomato soup kind of thing. Oh, it's really nice, yeah. And she's got the pie and mash. I have got the scampi. Look how good this is. Uh, excuse me, sir. You can have some. We shouldn't really have lunchtime puddings, but we do. <laughs> Then she's got ice cream and I have got a sticky toffee cake. Lunch was so nice. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. So good. Included in your cruise. And I have raspberry ripple ice cream for the first time in like 20 years. Oh, so what good. a banger. It was really good. So we've been in the room this afternoon watching a movie and now we've come upstairs to go for a swim before we have to get ready for black tie night. As a clever boy, I owned my shirt yesterday because it's normally busy to like do the ironing on the uh, black tie night. Nights, so. Very good tip, very good tip. <laughs> All right, we're going in the swim up bar. Ooh. He's already at the bar. This is nice. That sounds um, nice. Cocktail. White wine, peach liqueur, cranberry juice and soda. For our drinks, I've got pina colada. Benji's got a sunset cooler. With lemonade instead of soda water. Yeah, with lemonade. This is the life. Cheers. And just like that, I'm ready for black tie night. I love that they do a celebration of black tie. You don't have to dress up if you don't want to, but certain restaurants will require you to be part of the dress code and they list it all in the horizon. But we do really love dressing up. It's such a nice thing to do. And I'm re-wearing a dress that I actually wore to the BAFTAs of Piano Cruises recently. So it's a long blue one. And look, what an amazing way to spend our evening. We're actually going to the Limelight Club tonight, which we have done a few times before. It's a little bit extra and you get a beautiful three course dinner, plus you watch an artist perform. We've previously seen a few different performers, but tonight we are seeing Matt Cardle, who was on The X Factor. So yeah, it should be really nice. They have different uh, singers. So I think Matt performs like four or five times and then someone else comes and changes. So yeah, it's a really lovely email. We've done it before, but we will show you what it's like. Hello, madame. Would you do me the honor of accompanying me to the dance? To the dance? Yeah. The black tie dance. The dance. It's actually the limelight club, but yes, you look very nice. You've got a zebra eyelid, by the way. Oh, okay, I'll fix that. Lovely. Let's go. Benji just asked how much this was because obviously I did all the bookings. I just turned up. <laughs> And I just double checked, so it was £56 for us both. Really nice atmosphere, everyone's all dressed up for black tie. Can I just say how nice does Brogan look? We both had a bit of a faff 
getting ready today. I did my usual. I only take 10 minutes to get ready. So I got ready 10 minutes before we were supposed to come down. And then apparently I take 20 minutes to get ready. But I think you look lovely. Thank you. I don't feel my best today. We also did a completely my random. so frizzy. I'm sure we can probably go for a swim in the pool an hour and a half before coming for a black tie night. But we apparently can't. having no, like really can't. thick curly hair means you can't dip in the pool and then go for a black tie night an hour and a half later. No, you can't. We've got another black tie night. Let's redeem <laughs> it then. <laughs> Make some noise and welcome to the limelight stage, Matt Cardell. Good, are you ready to rock and roll? Yep. You might have to wait because this is an acoustic show. <laughs> like Zoe just said, I'm going to sing some of my favourite songs, uh, some of my songs, and some of my favourite covers. <laughs> I'm going to talk to you about uh, Matt Cardwell, but we've just come straight up to the Sky Dome to try and catch Donna Moody, who is a pink tribute. So let's go straight in and then we'll talk about the whole night afterwards. <laughs> Ready for bed, Matt Cardell, the limelight club. So good. <laughs> I nearly didn't get the name right then. He was so good. Insane. Really, really good. I will say the first few songs were quite slow. I wasn't sure. It's an acoustic set. It was. It, it, took, it took a second to get into it. <laughs> no, you know. I really enjoyed it. I really love that ham hock starter. My main, my steak was amazing. It was a really big bit of steak. It was cooked perfectly. The gravy was nice. The whole meal was nice. The pudding was really good too. I had something a bit different this time. It was I, a strudel. It was I really want, good. I want pudding more tonight though, didn't I? You did. I was like, well, actually no. Mine was still nice. It just wanted your taste. Like you had a chocolate pudding. Mine was really nice. And then Donna Moody as Pink tribute in the Sky Dome. So Brilliant. good. Love a bit of pink. She was on for like an However, hour. Serious, serious, serious complaint. Didn't do so what? So uh, I'm, I'm still, still a rap star. star. Tomorrow is another C day. We're seeing a new show tomorrow at the Headliners Theatre called Wavelength, which we'll talk to you more about tomorrow. And we're going for dinner at the Beach House, which is one of our very favourites on board piano cruises across the fleet. So we'll show you that. Uh, we're going to just have a chill morning. We're probably going to go sunbathing. I want to read my book. So we'll see you tomorrow. So it is half past six. Obviously, we've had a sea day today. Instead of vlogging the whole day, we thought we would give you a little summary of what we've been up to. So we had a lion this morning, didn't we? Yeah, it was a good lion. We really enjoyed it. Really seat. needed it, didn't we? And then we went to the gym. So we went for a little treadmill walk and run and it was so nice to have a view of the sea. I felt like we were running on water, wasn't it? <laughs> it was so nice. The gym is so well equipped. It is, it's got everything you can need or want. They even have uh, little towels that you can use as well. Then we were ready for lunch. So we had showers, had lunch in the main dining room. For starters, we had oh, the brie yeah, the brie. 
and that was amazing and then we had pulled pork sandwich for me and Benji had a lamb luna curry for Maine and for dessert I had the chocolate cake and you had the banana sponge then this afternoon we relaxed by the beach coma the adults only area so that was really nice had a couple of disorders in coke didn't we yeah we went down to the sunset bar and had a look over at the view that was stunning and we just relaxed in the cabin this afternoon didn't we I sat on the balcony we also watched Wavelength it's we a did. game show in the Headliners Theatre. Really good. We're in the Headliners Theatre and it is pretty packed out. Oh, it's starting. Ben Shepherd is the virtual host and they had three sets of couples that each came up to win some prizes. They went head to head against each, each couple and then each other and they asked really cool questions and as the audience we were trying to guess and think about our answers and it was a really good concept. It's like similar but also the opposite to Family Fortunes isn't it? Yeah, it was really cool. It felt like we were watching a live TV game show so yeah. it was really good. We are now currently at the Beach House which is kind of off of the horizon buffet so it's in the same sort of area deck 16 this is a little extra so we paid a little more for this but there are a few extra supplements so you don't pay extra if you pick from the menu but there are a few things that are a little extra so for example the steak that i like is seven pounds more just because i was interested i double checked and it was 15 pound 20 in advance booking it online for the two of us i personally think the beach house is incredible value for money it's a really nice space it's a really nice venue we always get good food here it's one of my absolute favorites on board and i really recommend it for my starter i think i'm going to go for the sweet potato mozzarella crispy skins i'm between the crab tostadas this yeah which i wouldn't normally have but it sounds really nice doesn't it guacamole sour cream yeah okay or the beach house nachos which i have, i'm sure you I've do had like those yeah i love this i'm a creature of habit and i always order this you get your steak that you cook on a hot plate with the um king prawns and it's just amazing but i also really like the sound of this Caribbean macaroni pie. Here are my sweet potato skins that look really good. Benji's got the nachos. Here's my sizzling steak. They gave us a small little macaroni pie because we wanted to try it. And they've also got your tacos. Oh, and some chips here too. Hang on, let me move these here. There we go. I can't lie, I panic ordered a tart off the dessert menu because I didn't know what I wanted. So we'll see what this tastes like. And Benji's got the apple pie. I'm which, on a real apple pie vibe at the moment, aren't I? You've had a few apple pies on board, and that good. one looks good. Yeah, look at that. Chunky. Chunky apple pie. Um, um. That was really nice. I really enjoyed my meal. I like the potato skins. I'm pretty sure I've had something very similar at the beach house before. I always get the steak. The macaroni cheese was nice. I was expecting it to be more of like a pie, like the Caribbean pie. It was more just macaroni and cheese in a pot. It's still good and tasted really good with my steak. My dessert was the tart cherry and chocolate it was so good it was on those really nice surprises you know when you just like panic order and then you're like oh i don't know what this is gonna taste like it was so good we know this vlog has been long enough i hope you've enjoyed coming along with us for the first few days big thank you to all of you who have watched to the end if you want to check out piano cruises then they are going to be linked below we are now heading on off to parma we're also going to marseille we're going to florence and pisa we're going where else? Barcelona, oh, Barcelona. Cadiz. Yeah, we've got a few places to show you. So make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss all the other locations. This will be the first of four vlogs. So do make sure you check out our others. We're going to show you more restaurants, more entertainment, and obviously all the amazing stops that we do as well. We've got things like mini golf left to do. Mm, thank you for PO Cruises for having us. And as always, thank you for watching. And we'll see you again in the next ones. Bye. See you later. <laughs>